Let's get started, guys. Welcome to Recovery Wednesday. Grab a band, towel, or broomstick. We'll use it in the end. For now, bird peckers, begin. <laughs> guys, this one, ooh. Well, maybe you can start out by reaching to the floor with two hands. Oh, yeah. My butt is so sore from yesterday. This immediate soreness set in, all those bird pecker hops. So I figured we should lengthen or stretch them out today. This, this is too much, you can reach down to the floor. This actually feels pretty good right here. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I haven't felt this soreness in my butt, the tenderness. I can, I can barely sit. I can't sit, I just go straight to my back. All right, jumping jacks coming up next. In two, one, let's go. The bruise, we've got an extended warm up today. It truly is a recovery day. And I'm grateful for that. I got all kinds of issues today. Didn't get to sleep last night. I was actually feeling the like, fever chills. I woke up this morning feeling a little bit sick. Like maybe I was relapsing from COVID, but I seem to be all right now. I figured I just need to move around, see, see how I do. And I've got this rash from surfing my armpit. <laughs> Guys, I got issues. All kinds of issues. And I have a rash on the other side from when I indulged over my birthday weekend. Monkey. Yeah, due to insulin resistance. It clears up right away when I get my fasting under control. and I eat low-carb foods. Ooh, yeah. As I've been getting my diet back under control, I feel the inflammation, and especially my joints, start to subside, and things like this feel a lot better. I don't feel as inhibited. Next up, we got the frogger, so similar, but we're gonna reorient. Oh, a little lightheaded. Two, one, and frogger right here. So taking it, it is recovery Wednesday, so take it as fast or as slow as you like. I'm gonna opt for the slow throughout today. As I said, I'm not feeling 100%. I actually feel pretty good right now. I was feeling not so great earlier today and I was just lying in bed until nearly noon. <sighs> but usually I feel better when I move around. That's, that's what we're doing. Must heal. Heal this body. Ah, there's a big glare on the computer screen. All right, dive bombers up next. Two, one. Inhale as you dive through. Exhale as you press back. And repeat. We'll just zone out right here. Get in the rhythm.
and lay down flat. We're gonna do some scorpions. Loosen up the spine, this should feel good. To reach your right foot to your left hand. And that twist in the spine, ooh, back cracks. And we'll switch to the other side. Move at your own pace here. You can hold position if you like. Totally up to you. This one is courtesy of Leona Vukalik. She was the one that told me, hey, you should incorporate some scorpions into the warm up to loosen up the spine. So thank you, Leona, for that one. All right, alternating push up ankle taps. Push up. Reach back with one hand to the opposite ankle. And we'll go back to the push up and we'll switch sides. Other hand reaches back and continue. Okay, next one, ape walk. This is an interesting one. It's very similar to duck walk. Here's the ape walk. Right like this. <laughs> Go forward, backward, and really take it easy on your knees. This one isn't working so well. You can just do a regular duck walk. This one can be kind of a lot. Backward version. Oh, dang, those are tough. Okay. Lion crawl up next. Where a knees hover just off the floor. And your core remains tight. Be as much a shoulder workout as it is an ab core workout. Even go sideways. Use your creativity here. Have fun with it. All right, and we'll finish with inchworms to push ups. We'll finish and then we'll really get started. All right, so inchworm out. And then push up, you can walk your hands back and touch your toes and stay down low. We'll go immediately into our next rep. All right guys, we'll keep inchworming to push ups. But after this, we're gonna take a quick 10 second break and we'll go straight into five minutes of burpees. Take it at whatever pace you want. As I said, I'm probably gonna take it slow and cruise, but if you wanna attack this, this is your chance to get a good a good burn today, <laughs> lung burn. Then we'll do our back exercises. We'll stretch it down and we'll call it a day. All 
All right, guys, five minutes of burpees. <laughs> We're going to start in five seconds. Whatever pace you want. Two, one, begin.
Upgrade complete. Grass for all in a minute. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm good after that one. Okay. Pause the video if you need to. Time for our back exercises in 13 seconds. This will be the last hard part. And we get to chill, stretch. The feet about shoulder width. We go arms back, hips back as far as you can get them. Lift your chest up, bracing that lower back. Use your shoulder blades together, hands up higher. Hold for five. Knees pulled back in the body. Two, one. And raise your hands up in front of you as high as you can get them, keeping your chest right where it is. To feel your lower back brace and tighten here. Butt back, knees pulled back in the body. Hands up higher. Hold for five. Two, one. Both hands across your chest. I like to do one on the lower back. Ten good mornings, just like this. Two, lower back braced. You need to make sure that you're pitched over far enough that you feel this in your lower back. If you're sitting too upright, you're not going to feel it. Hips back, arms back. So drop your chest down low here. Pull knees way back. Feel the hamstrings and glutes grab. Go all the together. Hands up. Hold for five. In three, two, one. Keep your chest right where it is. Hands up as high as you can get them. Hold for ten. Hands up even higher. Hold for five. Three, two, one. Lower down to the floor. Press back through your heels, through your arches. Try to straighten out your legs. Keep pushing back. So you feel that big stretch in the hamstrings behind the knees. You feel that slight tremble. That's what we're looking for. That stretch all along the posterior chain. Two, one, and stand it on up. All right, now, now it begins. Ooh, the sweat pouring down. Left foot takes a big step forward. Knee slightly behind the ankle. Going both hands up overhead. We're gonna lean out to the left side. Pull back into extension. We'll rise up onto the back toes and lower down. Just that back ankle we want to move. Feel a stretch in the right side hip flexor. We'll do 10 reps here. There's two, three, four. Feel that stretch. Get into the hips. Nine, 10, arms down to your sides. Shoulder blades pulling back and down. Your arms lift them back behind you as your chest falls forward. Brace your lower back. Weight in your left heel. Here, squeeze your shoulder blades together, hold for five. Three, two, one. Hands forward, reach even further forward. Hold for 10. Actually, sorry, just for five. Two, one, now hands up as high as you can get them, hold for 10. There we go, this is where you hold for 10. And hold for five. Three, two, one, hands back to high level, 10 rotations to the left. One, two, keep that slight lean forward. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, 10. One hand on your lower back, one on your chest. All the motion comes from your left glute. 10 good mornings, right here. One, two, lower back brace. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Stand it up and shake it out, Youch. Okay, so really important that the motion comes from the glute. Lower back is braced, that when we hinge, we're here to here, and we're not here to there. 
You see the difference? One, I'm hinging on the spine. The other, I'm hinging at the hips. The lower back or the spine remains braced the entire time. All right. That was pretty intense. You know we gotta do the other side though. All right, we're going. Right foot forward, left foot way back. Both hands up overhead. Lean out to the right side this time, and now pull back into extension. And come up and down, all that back ankle. Two, 10 reps here. Six, seven, eight, feel in that hip flexor. Nine, that big stretch. 10, arms down to your sides. Shoulder blades pulling back and down. Arms go back as chest falls forward. We load that front foot, front heel. Pull for five, two, one. Now reach forward, reach further forward, hold for five. Two, one. Hands up as high as you can get them. Hold for 10. Lower back should be screaming right now. Five more seconds. Down to eye level and rotations to the right. Make sure you're really leaning forward here so you feel it in the lower back. Five, six, nine, and last one. Ten, and the lower back, pulling on the chest. Ten good mornings. All motion coming from the right glute this time. Take it off. Wow, okay. It's getting tough. All right. I'm going to reorient this way. I'm worried my shoes are going to slip on the tiles. All right, we're going to go super wide with our stance now. We're going to go hips back as far as you can get them, arms back as well, and chest down nice and low. So you're pushing the knees back, feeling a grip in the hamstrings and the glutes. Use your shoulder blades together, hold for five. One, hands is high, or reach directly down front. Reach your hands further forward, hips further back. Hold for five. Two, one, now hands up as high as you can get them. Hold for 10. Push them higher. Now thumbs down, hands up even higher, hold for five. Three, two, one. Both hands across your chest or one the lower back. 10 good mornings here. Really feel the glutes doing the work. Three here. Six, seven, eight, nine, and hips back, arms back, chest open, over five. Two, one, hands up as high as you can get them. Over five, three, two, one, and lower down to the floor. All right, sit way back under your heels, press back through your arches, through your heels. We'll take the left hand. And we're gonna reach it up. You should feel a stretch in your right inner thigh, the adductor. So there's one, and we'll rotate the same arm up for two. We'll do 10 on this side and 10 on the other. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we'll do 10 on this side as well, or on the right side. Screaming. Eight, nine, and ten. And stand it up. Keep your wide stance. We'll do two sets here. See if we can knock them out back to back. Oh, neck is a little stiff today. Okay. Go hips back, arms back. Keep your shoulder blades together. Hold for five. One, hands up as high as you can get them. Now press your forearms together, 10 presses up. Ready, and go with your butt back. Two, three, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, arms back. Low blades, pull them together. Butt back, even further. Four, five, three, two, one. Hands up, side you can get them. Down, and 10 more presses. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, nine, 10. Oh my God, my whole body is shaking. All right, real quick, left leg forward, right leg back. Hands up overhead, we're gonna lean out to the left side and pull back into extension. And side, extension. I'll we'll just keep repping these out. And switch sides. Whew, right leg forward, left leg back. Lean out to the right side. Extension, side. Extension. We'll just keep moving between these two positions. Getting into the hip flexors. Oh, all right, guys. The hard part's over. Grab your band, your equipment. Let's do some shoulder pass throughs. Woo. Oh, I'm sweating quite a bit more than I thought I was going to today. Short, but effective workout. It did something to me. Those back exercises, that they're not so bad on their own. Oh, and we'll get into our cyclones. But when you throw them in after the burpees, it makes it way harder. And one more in this direction. Now I'll reverse it. One more. And now we'll get into our tricep shoulder stretch. This one right here. You can also do it without any equipment at all. You just grab your elbow, pull it down behind your head. I like the banded version the most. It'll get more, more tension, more force downward, deeper into the stretch. And we'll switch to the other side. Same thing here. All right guys, we made it. We're just gonna chill and stretch for the rest of our session here, about 16 and a half minutes. It's gonna be the more thorough stretch down. Cause it is recovery Wednesday after all. And release your equipment, toss it to the side. We'll go down into the squat. And we'll do some low squat arm rotations when you're ready. You can take a moment there and just Relax, you want to as well. I don't want to fall for you. Read through it. We're just hanging out now, guys. Watching you dance so night, baby. It's making me fall hard. About ten more seconds here. But I just can't control. Standing on up, be gentle here. Push your hips forward and send them around. Maybe small circles first. Ooh, until you loosen up. There we go, now we can go big. Bigger circles. And now reverse the direction. Old man surfers. And left leg forward, right leg back. Into our Spider-Man lunge. One of the best stretches there is right here. And down to your forearms when you're ready. Take 
you can stay right here if you want. Or you can sit back into a half splits or you can step forward forward to full splits. Whatever feels good to you. We'll spend about 20 more seconds here. Ooh, the hammies, yeah, they're tight from all the work we did yesterday. Ooh. All right, and we'll switch out the legs. Now you put this forward. Drop the hips down. Spider Man lunge. The stretch feels so good today. And down to your forearms. You can hang it right here or get it a half or full splits, somewhere in between. Ooh, yeah. Bring both legs back. Your left knee forward. Spin the foot open. We'll sit up tall. Oh my. Into Emperor Pigeon. Wow. Feel this one big time today. You can bring it into bear pose if you like. And let's walk it down and put this pigeon to bed. Oh yeah. There's, there it is. The booty is feeling it today. Fully relaxed for about 25 more seconds. Shake out the left leg real quick. And the right knee comes forward, spin the foot. We'll sit up tall. Ooh, yeah. Your emperor pigeon here. Go pair pose if you like. Or into the glutes. And when you're ready, we'll put this pigeon to bed. Mm. Wow, this stretch is super intense today. Let's bring both our legs to the front. Oh, oh the buttons are tender. And reach toward your toes. We can rock from side to side in our toe touch stretch. can tuck your left leg behind you or you can do both legs. I'm gonna do both. Do one or both and lean back as far as you feel comfortable going into the quad stretch. Ooh. Oh wow. If you did one leg, then switch to the other side. Do them both. Keep going. You got another 40 seconds here.
Oh, it felt amazing. And make your way up. And we're gonna go wide with the legs. Into our pancake position. Oh yeah. We'll reach up with the right arm. Over the top to the left side. You can grab the foot great, no, no worries. Just reach and lean and settle into the side stretch. Make your way up and over the top. We'll settle in to the right side and relax into it. I might still be feeling it from the clocks from last week in my obliques. Feel something tight in here. And we'll bring it up. We'll go for our center pancake. Take a deep breath in and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, lower, maintain that flat back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower or reach your belly to the floor. Inhale, lengthen. This time when you exhale, Lower just as far as down as you can go. You can round your spine, that's fine at this point. Just relax into it. And slowly make your way up. Our feet in. Whee. We'll do our windshield wipers. Oh my butt. Ah, ah. Butt's so tender it can't it can't take the weight. Oh wow. Okay. okay. And now I'll turn it over and we'll press back guys into downward dog. Hang out here, you can shift your weight from left to right shoulder is what I like to start out with. Ooh, yeah. You can pedal out the feet, switching out the Achilles, the ankles. And now take your left hand and reach back toward the right foot or right ankle, press through your right shoulder. My yoga mat's sweaty, flipping. Your best, hold, hold right here for 30 seconds total. And replace your left hand, reach back with the right hand now. Grab the left ankle. Pull, press and pull your head through the window. Get that shoulder stretch. Back to downward dog. Help. Kick your left leg straight up into the sky. Three-legged dog and hold, hold for five. Three, two, one, and bend. Reach that leg, oh, little booty cramp. Bend and reach that leg. Kind of open up the side stretch here. As you press back through your shoulders. Left leg, right leg goes straight up into the sky. Hold for five. Three, two, one, and bend. Bend and reach. I like my butt keeps 
It's cramping on this side now, too. Ah! Do your best here. Press through your shoulders. Get that side body stretch. And lower down. And sit back into child pose. Oh my. My, <laughs> my glutes on both sides are cramping. Relax into child's pose. Breathe into it. And kick your legs through to the seated position. We're gonna rock back into oh, a puppy snail. down into happy baby your chest squeeze them in nice and tight and hold and release straighten out your legs get comfortable minute 53 shavasana starts right now Upgrade complete. Yeah! And that is a wrap for Recovery Wednesday. Wow, that Shavasana felt incredible today. You guys, if you're not a part of the Fasting Challenge, you can click a link down in the description to download the Life Fasting app and join our circle. And it's been great for me. It's been great, great for my skin, my face, my back knee has almost completely disappeared due to fasting and, and also my diet has been pretty darn clean lately as well. So if those things or you know losing, shedding some extra poundage, if that at all interests you, then click the link in the description and download the app and join our group. It's really fun. It's great to see other people in there fasting and very encouraging and it helps me do a better job for sure. Patrons, subs, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. We'll be back again tomorrow for Thursday's workout. I hope to see you guys there. Aloha.